if you would, it's kind of obvious there are some uh, matrices in the works. Uh, this is going to be airplane number 10. Talk a little bit about the production process. We're standing in front of model number 10, and right behind me is the Malibu production line. In this area, we do the wing mate, we also do a lot of the interior finishing, okay. and we also do the engine mount. Um, to my right here is a 350 horsepower uh, dual turbocharged Lycoming engine, and that's mounted here, and all the fittings get put in place. Okay. We're also doing all of the static and hydro uh, hydraulic tests on the landing gear, as well as any of the moving gear for the air control surfaces. So this, uh, this process, uh, if you look back, you can see uh, three or four planes coming down the line. We roll a plane approximately every one to two days to its next station. Okay. This is an area that uh, has got a lot of expertise in terms of the air surfaces. This is where all the sub-assemblies get put in, as well as we apply the FICI. You can see here the bladder that we uh, have just installed, as well as some of the major components. Similar to the other area, everything is controlled by a shadow board. Everything is sequenced in operation. All of it has uh, control routing sheets, and every step is inspected to the previous operations uh, installed parts. So this is an area that's tightly controlled in a lot of different ways, but this is a little bit more skilled in terms of the employees and what they do. However, all of the people here work as a single team, and they will flex from one station to the next. So uh, we do build different models on this line. This line will build the Meridian model, will build the Mirage, and the Matrix. Sometimes sequences take a little bit of different uh, amounts of time depending on the model, and the teams will flex between stations. They're also cross-trained, so each individual can perform different jobs depending upon what the sequence calls for in any given day. Well, you're going to have to tell these people to move along because, frankly, you're going to probably wind up building a lot more matrices or matrices than you originally envisioned based on the interest we're hearing about have a tremendous amount of interest in the matrix. Um, we have over 700,000 square feet of manufacturing space on an 80-acre campus. We're only running about one to two shifts right now. We have plenty of capacity to build whatever the market demands, and I'm sure our workers will be delighted to hear that. There you go. And one other thing that we should emphasize, too, is that you've got an airplane here where you know, in the past, new airplane comes out, you kind of usually want to avoid the first few of them. But this is an airplane you already know how to build. We've been building these a type of planes now for almost a decade, this type of model. And the Malibu line, obviously, for longer. This is a technology that we're very familiar with. The people here are very confident in what they're doing. And if it makes anybody feel better, I flew in the first and second matrix and feel very comfortable in it. It's a beautiful plane. It has great handling characteristics. And it's something I think the public is going to be thrilled with. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus aircraft have always been easy to fly. Now they're easier than ever to buy. A complete line of ownership programs gives you everything you need to purchase, trade, finance, lease, insure, and warranty your Cirrus. There's even an ownership program for non-pilots. The Cirrus Access Pilot can teach you how to fly or fly the plane for you. Find out more at www.cirrusdesign.com. Cirrus, for the love of flying. Now, back to Aero TV. Andre, if you will, talk to us about uh, preparation for a firewall forward on these airplanes. Okay, uh, my preparation actually deals with the um, control cables first. First, we route those out, and um, once we get them routed, we have to set them to a specific cushion, which is usually 010 and 030 specified by the drawing. Mm -hmm. And then we go from there to the um, wires and basically all the CHTs, which are um, temperature cylinder temperature head probes okay. and uh, that's basically it as far as preparation for the engine. A pretty uh, pretty easy process, pretty arduous process? Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's uh, easy. There is a lot of drawings involved which we have certain tolerances. We have to build these two. Um, so basically it's a lot of studying actually that's what it's more in details of. And you've been at this for a while now haven't you? Uh, yes sir. I've been doing this particular job for about four years 
Um, I've been with the company a total of 10. Well, nice having that kind of experience where they, w w when you give it full power, it's nice to know the guys who put uh, everything together has got some timing great. We're really proud of our employees and Andre represents over a thousand men and women that really put this plane together and they put a lot of pride into it and they're um, really focused on doing it the right the first time. We have great employees and uh, we're proud of every single one of them. And This is a new matrix, I believe it's serial number seven. And this is uh, a new, new product for us and Andre is uh, kind of the person that's got the expertise and skills and capabilities to make a product like this really, really work. Aero TV is brought to you by Today, there is an affordable, high performance, easy to own and easy to operate very light jet designed with you in mind. Far less expensive than any other twin engine jet to buy, it is also the least expensive to own and operate. It is the Eclipse 500, the jet that's easy to buy, easy to fly and fun to own. The jet for you. Now, back to Aero TV. You know, one of the things that is fashionable today is that American companies are outsourcing a lot of work overseas. One of the unique aspects about Piper is that we're nearly vertically integrated. Mm -hmm. Virtually all of the wiring, the harnesses, uh, the terminal connections, the assembly of the entire avionics platform, including the panel itself, mm -hmm. is done here at Piper. We feel we have excellent control over quality, we have excellent control over schedule conformity, and we also believe that our workers are some of the best in the world. And by having all of this work here and controlled by Piper, we feel it gives us the kind of quality assurance that other companies can't match. Um, we're very proud of our workers. We think they do a great job. And this is a demonstration of the complexity, but also the type of vertical integration that we have at the factory. So we not only design and build here, but also down to the detailed elements of work that would, in many cases, be done overseas is done right here at Piper. And of course, here, quality control is an intimate issue. It's something that not only can you track individually, but you can also trend monitor. We can, and because the workers here actually see the finished product that they're working on, as well as what is occurring in the entire process, it helps give them an appreciation of how their particular work or element of work that they're doing fits in the overall product. Sometimes when you have parts that come from afar, the people who are building it have no connection with the ultimate product or even the customer. Mm -hmm. For example, one of the things that we like to do is that when customers pick up their plane here, we like to bring them through the factory and introduce them to the people that build their planes. Mm -hmm. And that, th in that way, it's a very personal connection between the people who build the product and the customers who use it. 